Today on the Tiger Lacrosse Report, we'll review the Tigers game against the Hofstra Pride. Get ready fans, the Tiger Lacrosse Report starts now. Hello fans and welcome to the Towson Sports Network studios for today's edition of the Tiger Lacrosse Report. I'm your host Ben Rosenbaum. This past week the Tigers were on the road for a game against the Hofstra Pride. Sophomore Carly Telecamp's six first half goals would not be enough as Towson fell to the Pride 17-15. The Tigers are now 9-5 overall and 2-2 two and two in the conference. As always I'm joined by the head coach of the Tigers, Sonia LaMonica. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Ben. So, Obviously a tough loss, 17-15. Mm -hmm. to 15. That's a crazy score to begin with. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> uh, you jump out 4 nothing. Yeah. They call timeout. They get too quick. You yeah. trade blows. You go on another run. Yeah. Ultimately, you take an 11-7 lead in the halftime, and then second half, it's a different story. In your mind, what changed between the first half and the second half? You know, I think Hofstra gave us a great fight. I mean, they played us tough. Um, they went on a six goal run in that second half and that was sort of the point where, you know, defensively we just didn't adjust and you can't expect different results when you don't change anything. So we just, uh, we felt, I mean, look, 17, 17 goals, that's the most we've given up this season. And uh, we've played a tough schedule, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, we didn't give yeah. up 17 to Florida or right. Penn State. So, you know, we clearly had um, some defensive breakdowns and not adjusting hurt us in the end. And, and to talk about the defense, from the start, I mean, seven goals in the first half, that's very uncharacteristic for your defense. Could you yeah. sense something was, was off or that they maybe had you guys really well scouted? Um, you know, I think, look, Hofstra has some, some outstanding players. Um, they were executing very well and um, you know I think some shots were sort of um, caught us by surprise a little bit maybe a couple we weren't ready for um, but I, I wasn't too we weren't too concerned defensively just that we needed to make sure we had some ball pressure but we've got to continue um, you know closing the gaps closing the gaps and not allowing this team to sort of um, easily feed the middle, but also to slice and drive in through the top. And unfortunately, we just didn't see enough adjustment um, in that second half and we were overextending. So those gaps were big and Hofstra was able to capitalize and um, we just didn't adjust. And, um, you know, as a team, as a unit and, and bring it back in a little bit and protect the eight uh, uh, as good enough. So that, that allowed them to go on that run that really hurt us. In, in other shows, we've talked about whether you've won a game or lost a game, how teams have managed to maybe shut down offensive weapons like Gillingham, mm -hmm. Montalbano. Uh, but this game, mm -hmm. Olivia mm -hmm. Conti, Tiana Walfer, Kelly McCulkin, and Sammy Chenoweth, their numbers much lower than what we've been starting to use to see. Olivia had three cost turnovers, Tiana two, not much from Sammy and not much from Kelly as well. Yeah. Was there anything that maybe those players individually you weren't seeing from that day or that Hofstra did really well to limit their effectiveness? Honestly, it... It's not glaring as individuals. It was a team, um, as a team, you know, collectively, um, just a lot of little errors. And when those, you know, it gets a little contagious. And when you have a number of errors on a play, well, it oftentimes leads to a goal. We can afford one small error. We've got, you know, other people kind of catching us and, and sort of saving that. But when you have, you know, two to three breakdowns on a certain play, you're going to get scored on. And we just had too much of that. Um, and, and, you know, so that's, that's a collective effort. So, you know, I mean, yeah, we have seen some, some, some individuals have, have some, some, you know, good numbers off after games. But, you know, I just think, again, it, it, it was a collective effort. There's no question in my mind. And speaking of individuals, Carly Telecamp, mm -hmm. six goals in the first half. Obviously, yeah. you'd like to get the win, but mm -hmm. uh, we had Coach Natalie in here earlier this morning and we were talking, and he said, Carly, I think he said it, she's a beast. She, yeah. I mean, six goals in the first half. Yeah. She's becoming extremely hard to stop now for opposing teams. Yeah, she is. And, you know, a lot of those goals, again, that's, that's a team effort. Yeah. We had, um, you know, Sam doing a great job off of the draw, sort of slipping to create fast break opportunities. So we had a number of fast break man up sort of looks. And, 
what Carly does best is position herself well, catch and finish strong. And, um, you know, she did that s consecutively in um, that first half and, and that was that was fantastic. Um, you know, Hofstra was sort of shutting Sam down, face guarding her, limiting her touches. Um, but there you have another individual sort of stepping up and that wasn't surprising. We've seen that um, over the course of this season. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I mean, we had some, some good runs and, and even down the stretch, some good opportunities that we didn't finish that might have gotten us to, to be able to tie up the game. And um, I thought Hopscher's goalie had some outstanding saves down the stretch late in that game to sort of, you know, keep us out. Um, typically goals that we have scored on. So, you know, that's credit to Hofstra and how they managed to sort of keep keep fighting and, and to, to hold us from, from you know, being able to take the game into overtime or pulling out a, a, a win at the end. You mentioned their goalie, Angie Benson, for you, 12 saves in a game. Uh, we've yeah. seen at times uh, you've made a switch after Angie maybe let up a, yeah. a larger number of goals. Yeah. Why did you elect to keep, and it was nothing to say yeah. that Angie was playing poorly, she yeah. had 12 saves. Yeah. Why did you elect to keep her in instead of going with Kylie? Because I didn't think Angie was really the issue. Right, right. <laughs> you know, and um, you know, I certainly, it crossed my mind, certainly, do we just make a switch just to change something, just to change it up? And I, I sort of really felt that we have, as a defensive unit in front of that, got to do a better job. Mm -hmm. um, she was still making some great saves. Um, you could say she kept you in that game with 12 saves. Yep, yep, she certainly, you certainly could. And um, again, you know, for some of the shots she was seeing, you know, it wasn't a lot of pressure. Um, we were getting beat one on one a little bit. We didn't have um, individuals there to sort of close in and um, put pressure on those, those yeah. players getting shots off, and that hurt us. All right. That'll do it for us today on the Tiger Lacrosse Report. Join us next time when we preview the Tigers game against the University of Delaware. For head coach Sonia LaMonica, I'm Ben Rosenbaum. Thanks for joining us, and as always, go Tigers.